from Bakes for Rebels and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you like the wall color behind me because the painters have been here and the purse room is starting to take shape a little bit. Well, the walls are painted anyways. It's still a crazy mess, which I will show in an upcoming video. I'll kind of show before and an after, after I get everything decorated, but at least it's headed the right direction. So it's not like a little cave in here. So I'm very, very excited. And I hadn't really planned on filming today, but I just, I felt like filming. Someone's like, I'm gonna run in and make a quick video. So that's exciting because when you just are inspired to film, it's always a good thing. So anyhow, I wanted to show you a fun little thing that I got in the mail and I just opened up. I Instagrammed it out and I will be doing like get ready with me and all those sorts of fun things coming up. Just bear with me. Give me a couple weeks here to get back into a routine, but I'm very excited about getting back filming over here. But I got this in the mail and I opened it and I was very excited about it. So I was going to go ahead and just show it in this video. And also, I wanted to touch on the question. I actually filmed a full video on this question before we left our old house and then I don't know if it's still my memory card, if I got deleted or what the deal with it was, but regarding Louis Vuitton quality and the prices going up and maybe feeling like quality is going down, what my thoughts were on that. So I thought I would touch on that a little bit as well. So I did a full video on this. The UPS guys point it to my house. I did a full video on this, and like I said, I don't know where it is, whether I just scrapped it or what, but in a nutshell, my general thoughts on this is it really irks me when companies start asking for more money and they start raising the prices on things, and quality is noticeably going down. It really starts putting me off companies, all companies, not even just Louis Vuitton. And I feel like there's a lot of evidence that's, that's happened recently in the past few recent years. And so my my interest is cooled a little bit. I mean, just to be 100% honest, um, when people are having like just blatant quality issues, my husband works in engineering quality, so it, quality is like a thing for us. When people are having blatant quality issues with their bags that are not cheap by any means, I really start noticing that and it just really kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth and it really just, you know, it just kind of makes me go, I don't really want to deal with that. And so then I find other interests or other brands that pique my interest in that sort of thing. All that being said, I am considering at least one Louis Vuitton bag coming up in the future for like a fall winter purchase. So I haven't 100% cooled on that brand as a whole, but it definitely put the brakes on quite a bit. I feel like I want to feel like I'm getting quality items for my money, and when the prices are seeming like they're going up astronomically by large percentages, not small percentages, and then the quality is going down, people are having issues with the paint on the canvas coming off, if it's like a colored canvas, they're having problems with like straps, they're having problems with the leather on them. Um, just There's just random things for a lot of different styles. When I start seeing that in a lot of different groups, it just kind of makes me go, ugh, that's no fun. And you know, it just kind of cools a little bit. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, you know, I, I go through phases and right now that's just not the phase that I'm in. All that being said, when I first started YouTube, I was really into Damien Hay Bean, like I loved it. And I feel like I'm going back into that phase again. That's what I'm wanting for fall. It's just like a nice, subtle Louis Vuitton bag. I'll just ruin the surprise. I'm thinking about getting a Speedy B, which I've considered forever. I basically just have to decide between the 25 and the 30 and, and give it a go. It just seems like a nice, basic bag to have in the collection. So anyways, on to this little fun thing that I got in the mail, and I wanted to show you this. Now, I've been getting things from Better London all summer long. I've been putting them on Instagram, and what they're doing is great because they're sending things out to beauty vloggers and vloggers and just, I don't know, people across all walks of social media life. And there, it's no strings attached. Like you get it, you can just try it out. You don't have to say anything about it. It's just, they're sending you stuff to try out. They're just trying to get awareness out there, I think, for their brand, and it's working. Because even just being aware that they make eyeliner, I was like, oh, I really like this eyeliner. They sent me a black eyeliner. It worked great. It was really comfortable, really smooth. And I was like, I like this. I want to go see what other eyeliners they make. So now I'm using like a shimmery charcoal gray, kind of almost bronchous gray color. 
that they didn't send me, but I sought out at Ulta because I realized that they made eyeliner, and I love it. It's called Twigged, and I wear it every day. You'll see it in an upcoming, probably either favorites video or get ready with me. I love it. I literally wear it every day now. So anyhow, um, it's a really neat program that they've been doing, and like I said, it's like no strings attached. Like They don't say, like, oh, you have to do a review on this or anything like that. So this isn't like one of those type of products, but I will say that I found some new favorite products just from realizing that they're making these things. So this is the Shadow Clutch. It's got a really cool kind of feather imprint on the front of it, and I got the Natural Charm one. There were two versions of this, and I'm actually, this is just how they get you. I'm actually interested in seeking out the second one. So Natural Charm is this one over here, and there's actually another one that's called Pretty Proper, and I saw the picture of that one, and I was like, ooh, that one's great. I like that one. It's got a lot of colors that are like the colors that I use from Urban Decay all the time. They also have these wardrobe duos. They sent me two of those as well, and I got the Moody Blues and the Fancy Flutter, which there is a really cool color in this. It is here to the side. It's like a bronze, but it's almost got like iridescent in it. It's really cool. Really, really neat color. So I'm going to be interested to try these on and see what they look like on my eyelids. But you can see the pigmentation is really great. So I want to try these and see what the staining power is like and all that sort of thing. I just opened it up today. Um, but I'll let you guys know what I think. And I've been loving like a lot of the makeup stuff that they've sent me. It's been really, really great. So anyhow, the, the neat thing is, is these two little eyeshadows are interchangeable. So say I found one color in here I really, really loved. I can actually just pop out the eyeshadows that are in this and exchange it for like a most used one. There we go. That'll work. So I'm not blinding you. Anyhow, in the Natural Charm one, there's a lot of great colors. This one in particular is one that jumped out at me to be really neutral and one as I would use a lot. Look at that. It's so pretty when you put it on. And also this one. So I'm going to be playing around with these and I just wanted to go ahead and mention it. So that way when I'm like showing a whole bunch of stuff, you guys are wondering like where this came about. Um, I've been trying out a whole bunch of stuff in Butterland and All Summer Long and really, really liking it. Um, lip crayons, I've been using those a ton. And now that I know that they have eyeshadows and they're really pigmented, they seem to work really well. I'm interested to see their stain palette. You'll probably definitely see those coming up as well. So this is the Shadow Clutch, and I believe most of the stuff is online for Butter London, and also I've been finding stuff at Ulta as well. So before this turns into a favorites video, which I will have coming up, I'll just wrap it up with those two little thoughts. I just wanted to do a check-in to show you the new purse room, or at least the start of it, kind of share things that I've been loving and kind of a little sneak peek into my favorites coming up. There definitely will be a couple Butter, Butter London products. I carry a lip crayon in my... Purse. I still love buxom glosses. So I'll be showing you like what I use all summer long. I'll kind of do like a summer favorites video, I guess. And just touch on my thoughts because I did like a, I don't know, 10 or 15 video, 10 or 15 minute video on, you know, quality declining and price going up. But really, it doesn't need to be a 15 minute video. It's really quite simple. If somebody's asking more money for something and it, the quality's gone down, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I just, I'm, I don't know. I'm not willing to, I don't know. I don't want to do this. It, it really, it just kind of puts me off of it. So those are my thoughts. I'm very excited to share the purse room with you a little bit more. I'll try to be, I'll try to do like a before tour coming up next week. And then as soon as hopefully we get the curtain rods up and I get all the artwork up and it starts becoming more of an actual room, I can show you an after as well. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching today here on Bags for Bubbles. I'm so excited to be back and so excited to just share with you guys. I'm just excited. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.